I'm going to show you how to unlock and complete the new tier 5 Elder Sigil Dark Aoife Rift, getting all of the new schematics in Season 2 reloaded entirely solo in this ultimate solo friendly guide. And we need to break this guide down into two parts. The first, unlocking the Rift solo, and then completing the Elder Sigil version of it solo. Starting with unlocking the new Rift as a solo, we want an AR or SMG at at least a tier 2 Pack-A-Punch. First step, we need to go into the new Dark Aoife mission. So let's enter the anomaly. Immediately upon spawning in, we're going to go onto this boat to get our first item. And there are multiple ways that you can get up on this boat. The quickest way is upon spawn, just immediately run backwards and make your way towards this sign. As you can see, there's going to be a little parkour puzzle. Let's climb up the ladder here. Climb up this ladder here. Do a little run, jump, and jump onto there. Then run, jump, open your parachute. Mantle up, there we go. Now, right in the middle here, there's going to be a pedestal, which is going to be our MMA glove. So let's activate this. There's going to be an insta-kill that's going to spawn, and we just need to kill zombies with melee. Now, if you don't complete this within the 30 seconds of insta-kill, you're just going to have to wait around 30 seconds or so for another insta-kill to spawn. But there we go. Very, very easy. And inside that rift is going to be our tattered MMA gloves. Right, let's now go ahead and go to the actual mission objective because we need to start that. Okay, so now it's telling us to regroup and escort the ACV. So we're just going to continue the mission on as normal normal until we get to the shopping mall where we'll then go for the next items. Okay, so now we've gotten to this part. We're now going to go ahead and get the other two parts. Right here, we're going to have another pedestal here. This is going to be a headshot challenge to give us the perforated target. So activating the seal was going to spawn us in a little circle and we're going to need to kill zombies only with headshots. So there we go. Super easy. So let's go ahead and get the reward rift and there's our target. So we make our way back to the shopping center. Now going to be heading further north and we're actually going to be going to this part of the map here. Here, which is the bottom left as we've got another pedestal in side of here which is very hard to see you're just gonna have to run around but i believe it's right here and this is gonna be an alternate ammo type challenge so activating the seal we need to pay attention to the effect behind us this is fire so i'm gonna be looking around try and find napalm burst so we've got napalm burst so i'm gonna interact with that there it's gonna drop it i'm now gonna pick it up put it on my weapon and i now need to get kills with napalm burst on solo it really doesn't require a lot of zombies at all so now we can see that the ring has changed to cryo freeze so let's go ahead and find the cryo freeze aat put on our gun then let's get a load of kills there and now it's changed to dead wire the dead wire is here so let's go and grab that pop that on it's actually crazy how easy this step is on solo compared to how it is in co-op so the last one is brain rot so let's go ahead and acquire that and get the last remaining kills and there we go that's complete and we got the pristine mirror that's all three items so now we just need to complete the mission as normal and boom he's down and the final item we're going to need for the, the rift easter egg is right in here which is the drum so let's pick that up and there we go all right let's now go upgrade them the first item we're going to upgrade is going to be the mma glove so you want to make your way to this boxing gym that's over here towards the bottom middle of the map and once we go inside here we want to go into the boxing ring itself and there will be the offer, the unattuned relic. So we'll do that. And then we immediately want to run out and we want to melee these punching bags from left to right. So left, middle, right. It's then going to spawn a zombie that's going to have glowing hands and we need to melee it and kill it whilst in the boxing ring. And there we go. We've got the tattered MMA gloves. To upgrade the target, we go to Shaheen Manor, which is right here on the map. And all we need to do is go over and interact with this target. And it's going to spawn a timed shooting range where we need to shoot all of these targets and turn them red. So we've got two that spawned in the main target. We've got two off to the side. It's actually one that's hidden right behind here, which is really sneaky. And we've got one up on that roof there. We've got one further back here. And then the final target is here. Here, and this is going to spawn a zombie that needs to be killed with only headshots. So there we go. Boom. And it dropped the perforated target. So now that's gold. And to upgrade the mirror, we need to make our way to the graveyard, which is over here near the all of military base. With the mirror, offer it at this gravestone here. And it's going to spawn two zombies that are going to have an elemental effect. This time it's only one. So we've got purple, which belongs to dead wire. So I'm going to run up here. And I'm going to look for the corresponding alternate ammo type that I need. So let's see dead wire so let's go ahead acquire that now we just need to kill that zombie using that ammo type so there we go and it is gonna drop the pristine mirror and now that you have all four items gold you just need to go over to the new dark Aoife rift which is right over here and you just want to place each of the items down in the corresponding icons that you see for each so the target goes there the drum goes there gloves go there and the mirror goes there once you've placed them all in and taken down the mimic that spawns you now have access to the rift and now you need a sigil or an elder sigil to go in so let's now get elder sigil ready so for the current best solo elder sigil setup you're going to want to run the crossbow now you might be surprised but this is actually now incredible again 
again. And it's all thanks to the blast cap 20 inch bolts. So be sure to copy this class and have it on and make sure you pack a punch it to level three and legendary. Make sure you have an elder sigil. And for solo, it's heavily advised to have the golden armor plate and the ether blade. Now you don't need the scorcher, but I'm going to have it anyway because it is just a lot easier to go around the map with. And I'm going to bring in some perks. And I highly advise you run ether shroud as a solo. Now just before going in, make sure you buy every single perk. It's really going to help you out, especially PhD flopper. Otherwise, the crossbow might kill you. Now, this is a tier five dial key for area. So on solo, it's highly advised before going in that you do a few contracts so you can get yourself some extra self revive kits and two to four Casimir grenades. Now, at this point, you may not also have an elder sigil by now. So how do you get them? Well, you get elder sigils by completing contracts in the new or the old dial key for rift using a sigil. You will have gotten a sigil when you unlock the rift to begin with, and you need to use that sigil on the new or the old dark for rift go inside and complete the contracts in there and one of the rewards should be an elder sigil if not you're going to just have to keep repeating this with sigils until you can get yourself an elder sigil you can go in the new dark for rift with a sigil but in order to unlock the new schematics it has to be with an elder sigil all right, but let's do this. All right, so now we are here. We can begin with our first contract immediately. So if you turn around from where you spawn, we're going to be going into this warehouse. And I think you can already hear the bunny, but all we need to do is run up the stairs here. And in the back of this room, we have our first bounty. We have our first contract, which is a bounty one. So let's go ahead and grab that. So we've got to locate a disciple. Oh man, there's a chance it can also give you a mega abomination, which can spawn really far down that way. If you have a score, this is obviously just going to make traversing this area so much easier. Bear in mind, you only have 15 minutes. But again, it is not necessary whatsoever to use the Scorcher. I'm going to throw down a decoy. Here's our lovely Disciple. So here we go. Crossbow out. The damage is pretty quick. It's pretty nuts too. So you do need to be very careful if you do get this because it's so easy to run out of the boundaries. And you just spam the bow, really. There's nothing more to do. You just spam it. If there's too many zombies near you, just shoot the ground near you and you should be all good. So there we go. We got our first one and then we got our VR 11 plans. Let's go. And we got the mags of holding. But I don't think it does anything for the crossbow. I need to get some ammo. So let's kill a few more zombies. Okay, so our next contract is going to take us all the way over to the mall. Now, this location for the contract is actually pretty nasty and is obviously way easier if you have a Scorcher, but you really don't need it. So this next contract is right on top of the mall. So we're going to do this the legit way. So to get on the mall without the Scorcher, you're going to need to do a bit of parkour climbing. Get up on here run up onto here on here and we can take the ladder up here another way to get up is if you go in the mall on the second floor there's going to be an elevator and it will take you out right about here but if you run around the edges of the mall we can climb up onto this part to get on top of the roof and we can mantle up and then run up these side bits here and we get to the top of the roof where we have the ether extractor contract now this does sound pretty difficult on paper but we're going to make this pretty easy with a crossbow but i guess is probably the hardest one on solo so let's get our casimir grenades ready we're just going to chuck our first one down here then immediately sprint over. And then let's overload this ether extractor. There we go. There's one done. Here we sprint down here to get to the next one. Now, I don't know what happened at this part in the recording, but for some reason it starts glitching out a bit. But you get the main gist. Using the crossbow down and throwing down a Casimir gives you more than enough time to go ahead and disable that second rocket. Then throw down another one as you run over to the third one to try and get that overloaded. And you should have no trouble whatsoever doing this. If at any point you need to, you do have that ether shroud field upgrade that you can pop at any point and once complete the reward rift will be there and in this run we managed to get our second of the new classified schematics we got the blood burner key plans which is absolutely fantastic so i'm going to make sure we put those in our invent now we've done that we can go for our final contract which is actually very close to where we are right now so we need to go up this ladder to get to the top of this building and again, if you've got the Scorcher, very, very quick and easy. But as we see, we climb up here and we've got this here, which is an Outlast. It's going to be this building here on the map. So let's go ahead and pick that up. So it's an Outlast in a very small, tight area. But don't be worried. It's fine. We've got this. I think even activating the PND is a challenge if you're a little bit slow to get here. Now we're in here. It's just about surviving. But again, if you've got the crossbow, this makes things extremely easy. The point where you can just literally stand on this table and the zombies can only get to you from one specific direction, depending on what part you're on either going to be coming from this side or the other side of the table. This is literally what you got to do. Like, I wish I could say this was difficult. And honestly, being on the ground, it is actually more difficult than what you're seeing right now. Like, I, I, I kid you not. Drop down, get some ammo and hop straight back on. As long as you keep moving, the zombies 
are not really going to be able to hit you. Whoa! Yeah, so you don't want to run off that table. And boom! There we go. And in our reward rift, Mags of Holding Plans, Elder Sigil. So there is a chance you will get all three in one run, or there's a chance that you won't. But in this run, we got the Mags of Holding Plans, the VR11, and the Blood Burner Key Plans. All three of the new schematics in one single solo run. So now you've got all that loot, but you need to exfil. And there's only one exfil point on this map, and it is right over here in this section of the map. As you can see, it's right here. And just like with the last Dark Aether, there is no delay. You can just immediately use it and immediately exfil. So let's go ahead and extract. There we go. Blood Burner Key, Mags of Holding Plans, and the VR11 Plans. Entirely solo. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up button for me and subscribe for more zombie videos.